Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Thursday, the 21st of September. As always, we begin with our service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And we're going to sing our hymn throughout the service, uh, hymn number 497, Eternal Ruler of the Ceaseless Round, and we'll sing the first verse now. Eternal Ruler of the Ceaseless Round, of circling planets singing on their way, Guide of the nations from the night profound into the glory of the perfect day. Rule in our hearts that we may ever be guided and strengthened and upheld by Thee. And our psalm is a portion of 71, which we say together. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the unjust and cruel, for you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust, O Lord, from my youth. Upon you I have leaned from my birth. It was you who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now let us sing the next verse of our hymn. We are of thee, the children of thy love, companions of thy well-beloved Son. Descend, O Holy Spirit, like a dove, into our hearts that we may be as one. As one with it, to whom we ever turn, as one with him, our pattern and our friend. Our gospel is Matthew 5, 1 to 10, the holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, uh, we are now still fairly early in Jesus' ministry, and... Uh, all sorts of people are following him. Now, the people that he's been connecting with are the poor, the sick. Um, he's been healing people. He's been giving good news to those who are outcasts. So this huge crowd that is following him are, many of them are the poor in spirit, those who mourn, the meek. They're not the people of power. Jesus is speaking to the people who have great needs and a hunger and thirst for more in their life, not only more materially, but they are hunger, hungering and thirsting as well uh, for more spiritually in their life. And Jesus comes with this list of blessed. When we think of the word blessed, we think, oh, they're gifted with something or, or 
or they have so much in some area. Um, Jesus turns that upside down and he says, you know, blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are those who mourn. Blessed are the meek. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Blessed are the merciful. Completely opposite to uh, what the world would consider blessed. They would consider, you know, blessed are those who are powerful. Blessed are those who have money. Those who have big houses. Those, And it goes on and on. So Jesus is talking about an alternate type of blessing here. Um, it's not a blessing of those in power, but it's a blessing and a fullness of life that can be ours, that those in power and those who have all the material wealth don't, won't feel. Um, Jesus is speaking to people who are hungering because they have this hunger and this need they're looking for more in their lives. Whereas the self-satisfied, uh, those who are happy with their lot, uh, given riches or whatever, don't necessarily feel this, this hunger and this need. Um, it doesn't always work that way. But uh, Jesus is speaking to a group of people who are kind of the dispossessed, um, which were probably the majority of people in terms of the power systems uh, in Jesus' time. So what does that mean for us today? I think Jesus is Jesus message is the same for us today we need to to um, be poor in spirit that means that means that we're we're, we're not seeking for um, for wealth materially but we're poor in spirit we're seeking for more spiritually um, theirs is the kingdom of heaven you know Jesus lists all these people who are blessed and the reason they're blessed it's because they are actually living as kingdom people, uh, not a material kingdom, but a spiritual kingdom. And Jesus invites us, therefore, to stand with the poor, to stand with those who mourn, to stand with the meek and be meek ourselves, um, to have a hunger and thirst for righteousness, and that is right relationship between people. And that's the type of kingdom living that can give us joy and blessing beyond anything material. So I invite us to think about these things and to hunger and thirst for all of these things in our own lives, and we, we too will find ourselves blessed. Let us sing the next verse of our hymn. We would be one opposing all the wrong, one in our love of all things sweet and fair, one with a joy that breaketh into song, one with a grief that trembles into prayer, one in the power that makes our children free. To follow truth and thus to follow thee. And now let us say together the words of the Hero Israel. Hero Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment, and the second is like it love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. In our prayers, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond with, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the peace of the world. We pray especially for many countries and places that do not know peace. We pray for people who are dispossessed or refugees because of war and violence in their homes, in their home countries. We pray, O oh Lord, for the people of Ukraine, Syria, Iran, and many other places. And we pray for people who do not have peace in their own hearts. The Lord grant that we may live together in justice and faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for this country, and especially for King Charles, the Governor General, the Prime Minister, and all in authority. Lord, help him to serve this people according to his holy will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for children and young people. The Lord guide their growth and development. We pray for the sick. And in our parish today, in our cycle of prayer for the sick, we pray for Brenda Kozak, Brenda Hicks, Natalia Stanzak, Mary Plant, Vera, Jim Glass, 
Daryl Wilson, Gary Crouch, Al and Melba DeCruz, Danny Harrington, and Frank Tilly. We pray uh, for them and all the sick who are known to us and those unknown to us, that they might know the healing touch of Jesus. We also pray for those who have died, and especially today we remember Doug McDonald, Del Simmons, and Margaret Town, and we pray for their families and all who mourn their loss. The Lord keep them in his love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are condemned to exile, prison, harsh treatment, or hard labor for the sake of justice and truth. The Lord support them and keep them steadfast. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember the prophets, apostles, martyrs, and all who have borne witness to the gospel. The Lord direct our lives in the same spirit of service and sacrifice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for 10 more households in our parish list. And if you're joining us from another community, I invite you to pray for members of your community at this time. Today, we pray for Ted Jerima and Lynn uh, Ferguson Jerima. We pray for Val Fester, for Doug and Paulette Finch, for Mark uh, and Ian and Grace Fingland and Rebecca Raven, for Allison Fletcher, for Doug Flett, for Brad and Daphne Flick, for Marguerite Folks, for Ryan, Jennifer, Tripp, and Hayes Ford, for Crystal Fox, and for Sandra Fox. We pray for all of them, O oh Lord, for them in all that they are doing. For the young, we pray for guidance, and that they might grow up with happiness and peace. And we pray for the older and the aged. We pray, O oh Lord, for fulfillment in their lives, that they might know they can be of service to the kingdom. We pray for them in all that they do. May they be encouraged knowing that they belong to a community of faith that cares and prays for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for uh, four more dioceses in the Anglican Communion. Today we pray for the Diocese of Adelaide in Australia, the Diocese of Afikpo in the Church of Nigeria, the Diocese of North Africa in the Episcopal Anglican Province of Alexandria, and the Diocese of Agra in the Church of North India. We pray for their bishops, clergy, and people. We pray for them as they try to accomplish the mission that is theirs in their place. May they have the resources to do it. May they encourage one another. May they be communities of peace that are walking in your kingdom and inviting new people in. And we pray, O oh Lord, that they might be encouraged knowing that the world is praying for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for another brother of the Society of St. John the Evangelist. Today we pray for Brother Luke Dightwig. We give you thanks, O Lord, for him and all of his talents, his great artistic ability, his desire to spread the faith through many different ways in his teaching and preaching and art. We pray that uh, we pray for his health and happiness and well-being. We pray that your grace might continue to flow richly through him and that he might know he is supported in prayer not only by his brothers, but also by us and others who are praying for him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray our night prayer from the Anglican Church of New Zealand. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And our collect for this week, O oh God, because without you we are not able to please you, mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit 
may in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now let us sing the last verse of our hymn. O oh, clothe us with thy heavenly armor, Lord. Thy trust is shield, thy sword of love divine. Our inspiration be thy constant word. We ask no victories that are not thine. Give us the shield of faith that we may be steadfast, attentive, firm in serving thee. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. May the Lord of peace give us peace in all ways and at all times. Amen. Thank you for joining us in evening prayer tonight. I uh, hope that you'll be able to join us either in person or online on Sunday. Sunday is our Time and Talent Sunday, so if you come in person, please make sure you leave enough time to come over to the coffee hour where we're going to have displays of all of the different ministries. We're going to be blessing our ministries that we do here, all kinds of different things, things that you could be involved in too if you wanted to uh, join a group that's doing outreach or, or community lunch or all sorts of other things. Um, there's lots going on here, but you can learn all about it if you come uh, see our ministries being blessed in the church. Come over after the 10 a.m. service to coffee hour and see all that we're doing. Um, please do join us, of course, next week for our evening prayers on Tuesday and Thursday. God's blessings to you and a good night's sleep.